am busy. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, that's I appreciate all the work that you've been so, doing so far. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'll that's be, okay. Um, it's a good giving, update. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Don. All right. I would um, need to leave now. I would give a sync updates next week. That sounds good. Yeah, like in two weeks. Yeah, that's totally cool, Ami. I appreciate everything that you've been doing. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye. Hey, Sean. Hey, Don. How's it going? Good, good. Let me just came and gave an update that uh, not much of an update in the last two weeks on the design work. She's been busy. So Fair that's enough. all set. Hello. Hey, Callie. Good morning, Callie. Morning. Uh, let's see, I had the. There we go. I had to find which browser window had the notes in them. As a bit of a sidebar, do you all know when decisions about chaos con for EU will be made or like what day that would end up being? I'm just starting to look for a look at travel. I'm going to assume that it's going to be the Thursday before FOSDO because there are some yeah. other we don't want to conflict with on the Friday before FOSDO. So then so we're doing it off of FOSDO instead of um, and not OSS. Is there nothing off of OSS to you? Right. Yeah. yeah. We've been yeah, doing we FOSDO be for any a chaos. long time. Yeah, we won't be adding any chaos stuff. To <clears throat> OSS. Now I understand sure. why you're booking travel because you're booking travel for Vienna and not for... And I mean, but also kind of for the, and do you know what weekend for sure, because we're talking about uh, is, because I was trying to find the information and it, I can't. <laughs> it's usually the first weekend of February, right? Yes, but that's a confusing question because this um, Saturday is the first of February. So do you consider that the first weekend? <laughs> you see my dilemma. I do. Yeah, I was just looking to see if they've announced. I thought they had announced something. As if it's that weekend, big, that'd be big for me. But then I can just fly straight from Japan. Um, if not, then I gotta figure things out. Yeah, I don't know. We should know. We should know shortly. I think um, they usually start working on the the plans for it early fall, late summer. So sometimes it takes a while. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just surprised. I feel like for most conferences, they like tell you the dates or like they're early, but it's also it's Fosdom. <laughs> yeah, I think Sorry. if that Saturday is the first of February, it's that's not guaranteed, but it's pretty, pretty likely. That would be, like I said, but that not, would be great. Not likely enough. Yeah, not likely enough that you would book tickets yet. Yeah, that's. For State of Open Con, we're assuming that that's when it's going to be because State of Open Con is February 4th and 5th. So I'm okay. pretty sure it's going to be the weekend before that. I'm going to guess that Amanda probably checked with the organizers. I'm gonna get, I think they did make an announcement. I just think that they haven't updated their website, which would also be pretty typical. <laughs> yeah. 29. Open source oh. developers not updating their website. <laughs> uh, and that means they'll most likely be actually be at Boston this year. Let's see. Uh, I know. Shocker off of the leg of a um, ski trip. <laughs> That is how it rolls for you that time of year. It does. All right. Well, let's uh, we can formally get started here. I don't have a big agenda. Um, I drop the notes in the chat. Feel free to put your name in or not. 
turn your camera on or not. Uh, Lamy was here earlier and just gave us a brief update that there's not a lot to say. Haven't done a lot of the design work over the last two weeks. She's been busy with other things, perfectly reasonable. Um, we did do an auger release last Tuesday. That includes a lot of little bug fixes for weird text and pull request reviews and pull request commit issues that we encountered. So um, that's that's running pretty well up on our public instance for the last week. And those are the only updates that I have for the Augur 8 knot community. I have, I have a question. So is it, is it now good for me to start looking at the Padres instance to see how the auger release has impacted collection or should I be, or should it give it a little bit more time? Uh, I think you should be able to look at it now. Yeah. To see. Okay. Cause I want to do that before we have our, our meeting so that I know what the, what problems have been fixed, what problems are still persisting, all that good stuff. Um, on the design side, I, know I say this every week, hopefully I won't have a, another, personal disaster happened where I have to fly halfway across the country yeah. surprisingly. Um, we'll see we'll see if we'll see if these two weeks are the two weeks where I don't end up having to do something like that, considering that has been the pattern for the last month and a half. Um, well, but I'm be I'm believing in stability and strange occurrences of the same. So I you never know. <laughs> yeah, I had to fly to Texas back to Texas last week. So, uh, hopefully, I'll actually be able to follow through um, and doing, like, the architecture um, overview that I want to do to see, okay, what are the architecture changes that are going to need to happen in 8 not to be able to make the design happen? Um, again, as long as no yeah. additional travel things happen, that actually should be happening in the next two weeks. That's what my, my, um, my plan is. Well, I think in two weeks from today, it's July 1st, is that, or, yeah, July 1st is two weeks from today, so, um, I'll be here. Yeah, I'll that, be that here. Will be well. a light, that'll be a light week for some people in the United States. Yeah, I'll but be here as well, but I'll we be here. have to off. We had talked, uh, I'll talk to, a, we shouldn't ask, sorry, I'm incoherent right now. We should talk to Elizabeth because we had talked about canceling all the chaos meetings and having sort of a summer break the week of July 1st, since so many people will be out. Right. Uh, so we might want to, might want to check with her to see if. Yeah, I suppose yes, chaos policy will supersede any decisions made in this meeting. <laughs> so <laughs> keep an eye on your chaos warning channels and, uh. I'll let you, I'll let y'all know in the Augur 8 Knot channel if, in fact, we do close chaos down for that week, which it wouldn't be unprecedented to take a holiday week off. So we'll see. Um, this is more data team or data working group related, but I'll, you'll probably see me in a lot of chats the next day or so trying to advertise the Exodus research form see if people can put in any examples that um, are relevant to them so we can start working on that in the data science call as well as this is again in the slightly applies to this call mainly applies to the data science call um, the intern that is going to be on our on like the Red Hat OSPO team until November has decided to do um, at least for the next couple of months, focusing on network graph research around Augur data. Um, and so my plan for him is to have him present every two weeks in the data science meeting. Also, should be in these meetings as well, to talk about more of the Augur data side of things. But that's start to see a little bit more Prude V and like the work that he's doing, he's going to be doing for the next couple of months. Sounds good. Looking forward to that. Yeah. So that's I. That's all the agenda I had. I don't know if any Jonathan, if you have anything you wanted to bring up. 
Nope. I was just able to make this call this time, so we're excited to ah. hop in. <laughs> yeah, welcome. welcome. I do. I do actually have one one thing. Um, we are in the process of changing the name of Bus Factor to Contributor Absence Factor after after much debate. Um, the metric itself has been changed, so we've made that change on the metrics website. Um, and uh, Peculiar has, sorry, not Peculiar, Precious has um, generously offered to make the updates on um, across the website. So there's a whole bunch of places where we mentioned bus factor, and she's updating that to contributor absence factor. Um, some of the updates that she's making are in the Augur repository, and I'm not sure that we can just sort of replace the names there. Um, so no, I have basically- she, I mean, I have, if she could I do a PR, as long as she's doing a PR, I assume. It's a PR, it's a PR. Yeah. Um, I've, I've basically assigned, I think I assigned you to it, Sean, because I'm, you know, so I'm hands off, like do whatever you want with those, the PR yeah. the changing. I didn't, I didn't see a PR come up, but it just could be that it came late last week. It did. It was late last week. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we don't have to do it in this meeting or anything, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to confirm that I'm, I'm not doing anything with the bus factor renaming changes within the auger repository. I'm going to leave, leave that, uh, for, for all of you to decide what to do. Yeah, there's more to it than that. So, mm -hmm. so I was uh, pretty sure yeah. there was. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'll, so, I'll leave you to work with work with Precious to figure out how to how to do that. All right, that sounds good. I'll uh, go give some feedback on that right now. And if there is nothing else, then I will bid you all farewell. Have a wonderful Monday, and I will talk to you soon. Sure. Sounds good. See you on soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.